it's Joanna here. I'm back. Most of you might know that I have been away for seven weeks, mostly in Malaysia and also two weeks in Taiwan. It has been a lovely time spending it with my family and friends. Due to the constant traveling, being in different places all the time, meeting different people, and also the constant eating out, well, I have to be honest, it has affected my diet. Firstly, I have put on some weight. But besides that, I can see and feel the difference. For instance, I experience breakouts, feeling tired, lethargic, lazy at times, and also feeling bloated due to the overeating, and it is not nice to be constipated. So, this is my first week back, and I am also cleaning up my diet. What I'm going to share with you today is an example of my daily meals in eating clean. Morning guys, I'm just waiting for my breakfast to cook right now and I start my day by drinking a huge glass of water and also a pot of green tea. I tend to have my water prior to my breakfast and this pot of green tea together with my breakfast. Throughout the day, I will be aiming to drink at least 2.5 to 3 liters of water and also a combination of green tea. So remember to keep yourself hydrated from the moment you are awake. For breakfast, it's always something really simple and quick. One whole grain toast. I've sliced it into half because my toast is rather thick. I've topped one side up with one whole egg and one egg white poached. And the other side, I've spread it with a little bit of jam. I like to have my complex carbs and protein in the morning because in about an hour time, I will be heading to the gym. And I like to keep my breakfast rather light. For the jam, Try to go for jam without any added sugar so that you will get the natural sweetness from the fruits itself. So this is my breakfast, quick and easy, and I tend to have this pretty much every day. I just got back from the gym, I did kickboxing today, and so I'm going to replenish my body with a huge glass of green smoothie. Do you still remember how to make a healthy and delicious green smoothie? Really simple, only four ingredients. First, choose your green vegetable, I've chosen kale. Second, choose your liquid or liquids, I've chosen soya milk and water. Third, choose your fruit or vegetable, I've chosen banana. And fourth, your add-ons, I've chosen goji berries for the extra antioxidants and sweetness. Add all the ingredients into your smoothie blender and blend it up. Having green smoothie as a post-workout meal is a great way to replenish lost fluid from exercising and the carbs and protein will also help to restore lost energy. Remember to have your post-workout meal 30 to 60 minutes after exercising because that's when your body is most ready to absorb all the good nutrients. For lunch, I'm having baked salmon in foil with asparagus and also a side of green soup. I like to have a good amount of protein in my lunch because it will keep me satisfied for much longer and to keep me going through the day. And also, I like my lunch to be bigger in portion. Because it's in the middle of the day, I like simple recipes with minimal preparation time. So, to make my baked salmon and asparagus in foil, the ingredients you'll need are one 100 gram salmon, 100 gram of asparagus, quarter can of chopped tomatoes drained, half a teaspoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of dried mixed herbs, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one clove of garlic crushed, quarter of an onion diced, and salt and pepper to taste. The first step is to preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. In a bowl, combine chopped tomatoes, onion, garlic, lemon juice, and mixed herbs. Mix it well. Then toss the asparagus with half a teaspoon of olive oil. Arrange the asparagus on the foil, then salmon, and top it up with the mixed ingredients. And season with salt and pepper. Seal the packet and bake it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. For this recipe, you can replace the salmon with any other fish, seafood, chicken, or any other meat. To make my creamy green soup, you can get the recipe from my Eat Soup and Stay Slim video. It is a huge portion, but this lunch is under 300 calories. So, try it out. For my afternoon snack, nothing fancy, just a simple bowl of crunchy fruit salad with my favorite seasonal fruits. 
strawberries, blueberries and grapes and I've topped it up with a handful of grinded cashew nuts. If I'm going out, I will pack this in a container and bring it out with me. It's refreshing, you're getting the healthy fat from the nuts and also the natural sweetness for the extra energy boost. Towards the end of the day, I like to have something lighter which allows my body to digest easily, especially after the long holiday abuse. So dinner is butter beans, carrots and onion soup. This recipe was taken and adapted from my 3 days detox plan video. The ingredients you'll need are 200 grams of carrots chopped into cubes, one whole onion diced, two cups of vegetable stock, half a can of butter beans washed and drained, one teaspoon of olive oil, and one teaspoon of fresh or dried parsley. Heat olive oil over medium high heat. Add onions and lightly stir fry until fragrant. Then add the carrots and the vegetable stock and bring to a boil. Allow the carrots to cook for 15 to 20 minutes until very tender. Don't forget to stir occasionally. Then remove the pot from heat and puree the carrots either with a hand blender or food blender. Bring the pot back to a boil under very low heat, add the butter beans and parsley. Allow all the ingredients to simmer for another 2-3 to three minutes and serve. I love my hot chocolate and sometimes before bedtime, I will have a glass of hot chocolate because it helps me to sleep better. Good night! Every day, I will give myself between 100 to 150 of calories allowance for any extra food that I might consume. For instance, I might drink a cup of coffee when I'm out or I might snack on some extra food when I am out. I do not count my calories every day. It can be very tiring and tedious. Therefore, your food choices is very important. Aim to have more vegetables which are naturally low in calories and it will also keep you satisfied. Aim to have more liquid-based food which will help you to avoid overeating. I understand that everybody's schedule is different. You might work late night or it might not be possible for you to have six small meals. That is fine. Have three larger meals. The time is not the most important factor. What is more important is that you stick within your daily calorie needs and do not overeat. As long as you stick within what your body needs, you will lose the weight if that is your goal or you will maintain the weight. This is just an example of what I eat today. I do not eat the same food every day, but the foundation of eating clean is to eat food in its purest form. So reduce junk food, processed food, salt and sugar. Join me and clean up your diet. All the best! For new fitness, food and motivational videos, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and website. Do follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to stay connected with me. Thanks guys!